So right now, continuing um, the waste management, uh, we invite our next speaker um, to discuss on the topic systematic waste prevention and its impact on global development across the industries, regions, countries by Michael Reda, founder and CEO, International Business Center of Sustainable Development, Czech Republic. But before I hand over to Michael, let me do a introduction of Michael first. So uh, Michael is actually the founder of International Business Center of Sustainable Development Concept and Industry, IBCSD, is actually the first global platform aiming the industrial surplus and overproduction. At the same time, it is also the first global application of logistics efficiency design principles. So without further ado, I will just welcome uh, Michael to share with us on his insights. Thank you very much, Dawn, for the introduction. Thank you. And I would like to take you all to the wasteless world. My name is Michael Rada, and I'm human. And I'm the founder of Industry 5.0 as well. And who are you? Are you speaker? Are you chairman? Are you manager or president? Maybe you are a student and for sure you are or you will be father or mother. But with all of that, you forget one. You are a human being. You are living one, not like this man on county out of Pilsen Brewery. And if you know who you are, I live in a beautiful place. It's called the Blue Marble. And unfortunately, people who has born later do not live on this because the planet is covered with environmental damage. So do we live in a wasteful or in a wasteless world? So let's see. 23 million metric tons a day, which are 8 billion tons a year of crop and food, is being wasted every year. Because we waste 75% of all crop and food which we plant and produce before the second stage of production. 85 to 92% of all data stored in data centers are waste because they will be not used anymore. 347 million liters of drinking water are being spoiled just by California crude oil industry every single day. 170 million pieces of space debris, space trash, is on a landfill which was created in few decades above our heads. 43 billion US dollar has been spent to purchase just one social network. 851 billion US dollars has been spent on carbon emission vouchers just in one year. And a few days ago, the global population counter hit for the first time in history, 8 billion. We have been told to wait. We have been told to turn the heating down. We have been told to trust the politician that they will solve the issues. We have been told that Google, Siri, Wikipedia know all the answers. We have been told that digital and virtual is the future. We have been told that the new mobile is better than the old one. We have been told we need and must have social media accounts. We have been told that young is better than old. We have been told not to worry. They lied to us. I was born on December 24th, 1971. At the time, the planet was called the Blue Marble. But in 2019, it does not seem blue anymore because of the environmental damage. But then in 2020, something very strange happened, which nobody expected. Not because the humans changed their behavior, but because a virus locked us down. He locked us down on a planet around which we have created a landfill. He locked us down on a planet which, on which we know only one criteria of success, which is more, more money, more people, more companies, more businesses, more cars. Ask Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates. Ask everyone in Fortune 500 list how they get to the list. 
We are living on a planet together with 8 billion people, not knowing that 200 years ago, it was just 1 billion. 100 years ago, 1.5 billion, which means we have more than five times more people living on the planet despite two world wars, two world pandemics, and more than 650 local war conflicts. And in 2050, some predict there should be 11 billion people living on the same planet. We are living here in 206 countries, speaking 7,000 languages. We are riding 1 billion car and we let 9 million people die hungry despite the fact that we throw away more than 23 million metric tons of food every single day. We let 800,000 people die thirsty, despite the fact that only California crude oil industry consumes 347 million liters of drinking water every single day. We plant our food to throw it away because the leaves are not green enough for the pyre in a chain store. We put our overproduction in a river and on a landfills not to spoil the market price. We carry our water in firefighting tanks, not knowing that the same amount of water is needed to produce just one and simber hamburger. We work in, and we do it on a planet where one sip of water can save not one, but two lives. We work in a factories with walls lined with environmental certificate and behind the walls, the same companies create a landfill. The companies store their obsolete packaging waiting till it become waste. We throw away materials and products which do not fit one, but can serve great hundreds and thousands of others. We are listening to the words of World Bank, which says that till 2050, the waste volumes will grow, despite the fact that ever, almost everything can be reused or repurposed. In fact, only 13.5, as the official number is, is being repurposed. This is what made the waste industry the third most profitable industry in the world following the war industry and the crude oil industry. You know, we have been told to listen, but I did not follow the advice. I created Industry 5.0, the first industrial evolution ever led by man, by human, based on the principles of systematic waste prevention, recognizing and preventing five types of waste, physical, social, urban, process, and the wasting of time. It was launched on December 1st, 2015, but already two years earlier, I started my work by implementing it. I have prevented, and the network has prevented more than 1 million metric tons of products to become waste. It connected 111 countries already, giving the access to 90% of global human population. We have made one big mistake in the past. We built our future on the top of a pyramid, not understanding that the pyramid has not been built for the living ones to live inside, but to store corpses inside. I realized that in 2010, and I started to build another ground stone, a ground stone which will be stable no matter how much the economy, industry, or the planet will shake. How does it work? It's not easy. Firstly, you have to recognize that something must not become waste. And if you do so, even harder step is in front of you because you have to reconsider what you will do with the item. And you can try and you will try and you will fail for the first, second, maybe third time. But if you succeed, you will start to change the world. We can use a rope to deliver the change, but it depends on the way how we are using it. We can tie it in a circle, we can put people around, and we can ask them to pull or push. But unfortunately, the only thing which will move will be the circle, not the planet. Or we can ask and set up 17 goals. We can unthread it and make it 183 sub goals, put the people around, and ask them to push or pull. But when we don't tell them in which direction, how strong, the threats will break. And there will be no change delivered. Or we use the rope as it is, as a rope, using its primary function. We put the people around and we tell them exactly in which direction 
in which tag time they should pull. And this is the way how we change the direction, how we change the future. I was speaker on the last conference in 2021. So let me share the progress which happened since then. The estimated value of Industry 5.0 global systematic waste prevention grow from 475 trillion over 1 quadrillion US dollar a year. Waste prevention legislation was published globally in more than 111 countries. Industry 5.0 Strategic Alliance was launched on, on September 1st, 2022. The call to change the United Nations to United Humans was already delivered. More than 300 schools and universities receive a keynote and information about Industry 5.0 origin and principles. The entire development, there was no dependency on crypto or any external funding. Everything is fully scalable and adaptable because we respect three principles, transparency, profit sharing, and efficiency. The ladies and gentlemen, I spent eight years to write a document which unfortunately is needed and does not exist anywhere in the world, is the waste prevention legislation. And it is important to understand that there is no waste if we do not waste. And not a single legislation in the world define how waste is being created, so it must be part of the legislation. And once again, please remember, wasting is not a feature of a product or material, but a result of human behavior. Industry 5.0 is the first industrial evolution ever led by man, by human. It is new mindset, people and businesses from wasteful to wasteless. It delivers results without the need of capital investment and is based on the principles of systematic waste prevention applicable for industries. It utilizes the rich on the ground minds about which many speakers spoke, spoke before and is based on transparency, profit sharing and efficiency. And please understand one, Industry 5.0 is not a sales tool or a product. It's a new global ecosystem which already exists here. And the age of Industry 5.0 in India started on August 21st, 2020 already. The ladies and gentlemen, we are living in the times when our work was digitalized. Our children from one day to another should switch to digital education. Our leisure time was digitalized long time ago and which means the only need, what needs to be digitalized is the human himself. But if we do so, our home will look like this. And this is not a mistake because data don't need any light. But more than a decade ago, I decided I do not want to live on a bottom of a black hole. And I decided to build another world, wasteless world. On January 1st, we started a 17 project for a global recovery of economy, industries, environment. Dear ladies and gentlemen, my name is Michael Rada. I am human. And don't worry, I am not alone. In the world exist 111 countries which accommodate already the gate to wasteless world through the Industry 5.0 Ambassador. And the very first in the world was assigned in India on October 14th, 2020. The ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you for your time because you gave me right now the most valuable asset of your life. I have chosen my way. Right now, it's time for you to decide in which world you would like to live and which world you would like to hand over to the next generations. I have only one aim wasteless world. Have a nice time free of waste and wasting in all its forms. Stay safe and free. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much, Michael. Thank you so much for being such an inspired role model. 
and the new mindset that we have to take up is wasteless. Thank wasteless you. and wasteless. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.